Well, thank you for joining us tonight. We are going to be talking about navigating a healthy holiday. The holidays are right around the corner. We've got Halloween this weekend, then Thanksgiving, Christmas, New Year's, all the things. And so we want to make sure that you guys feel solid going into your holiday season. I know it can be a little bit scary, intimidating, not sure how to, how to um, go about this. And I remember it used to be really scary for me too. I kind of just threw in the towel and said, okay, we'll start in January. But if you mm -hmm. think about the, um, those events, those holidays, those are, that's one day. So let's say all four of those, that's four days out of the next three months, 90 days. Mm -hmm. Um, so why would we throw in the towel? It doesn't make any sense no. to throw in a towel and just say, well, we'll start again in, in January. Um, instead, we want to help you come up with some realistic expectations, um, knowing how to participate in some of the things you enjoy doing without feeling like throwing in the towel and also without feeling like you're white knuckling it and just like, getting through. Um, we don't want any guilt associated with what you're doing as well. And so um, being able to know how to participate in moderate quantities, moderate, moderate amounts mm -hmm. um, is going to totally set you up for success and make you feel confident going into the new year instead of feel like total crap <laughs> that's the nice word for it <laughs> so um like we said the holiday season's right around the right around the corner when i think of the holidays mm -hmm. the first thing that comes to mind is family yep and food of yep. course food is definitely associated with all the things family and friends related to me and get together so mm -hmm. Instead of having fear behind the holidays, we want to help you have confidence going into the holiday season. So how do we stay on track when everyone around us seems to be splurging? Um, the first thing you need to do is you need to have a plan. So tonight we're going to come up with four tips that, can, that you can use to help plan for the holiday season and help you uh, have success coming in. Just so you know, I just heard my family got back. So they may be coming in. Here they are. Sorry about that. <laughs> They're probably looking for food, Tirsa. <laughs> <laughs> I already fed them. They want more food probably though. <laughs> Chris was supposed to go take him to get a treat. See, we have treats in this house too, guys. Um, okay, so we're going to start with number one. Number The first tip we have for you is to eat close to your usual time to, to help stay on schedule. So let's talk about like Thanksgiving is a good example. If your um, meal, Thanksgiving meal, like let's say you don't have control over what time that meal is served. Um, if it is way outside that normal time you would normally eat, the best advice we can give you is to have a small snack mm -hmm. or something um, substantial at your normal meal time so that you don't overdo it at dinner. And um, one thing that works really well for me is I drink a protein shake mm -hmm. about an hour before dinner time. Yep. Um, because I want to save those carbs and fat for some of the things that, uh, that are going to be served at dinner. Mm -hmm. And protein tends to be the thing that um, is harder to get in when we're not tracking our food or when we're not, um, when we're overindulging in some of the other things. And so we want to make sure that that protein gets in because it'll help us feel full going into that holiday meal. Hey, Chad, thanks for joining us. Um, and it'll also help us hit that protein goal so that we yep. feel good the next day. So try to keep your regular schedule for food, but also for um, sleep and um, your normal activity level. Yep. So I know for me, like uh, working out on holidays, except for Christmas, I don't work out on Christmas, but we usually do like some kind of bike ride or walk mm -hmm. or something like that. But I always like to do that just because a couple reasons, it helps me feel um, better. Yeah. It starts my day off, right? Um, but I also know that I'm going to be eating a lot of food yeah. and so it just helps me not feel so like, um, it kind of ramps up my hunger yeah. too. Yeah. And it so. helps me like, I don't feel as bloated near the end of the day and I feel, yeah, yeah, that helps. I know a lot of families like to get together and do like a turkey bowl, mm -hmm. um, or something of that nature, bike rides, hikes. Um, we usually go to Southern Utah for Christmas or sorry. Uh, Thanksgiving and my brothers put on a race, a uh, 10K every year. This is our first year here oh, wow. in a very long time. Actually, I'm actually hosting this year, which is kind of fun. 
Um, maybe I won't be saying that as the time gets closer. <laughs> but right now, I think it's a fun idea. Um, but we will for sure be putting on um, either a trail run or a workout at the gym. Mm -hmm. In fact, we we usually have some kind of a, um, event on Thanksgiving, whether it's a mm -hmm. run or something. So um, making sure that you have time to exercise yep. and keeping it around the same time as you normally do. And then getting a good night of sleep is going to yep. help you make better choices on that holiday. Yeah. Yeah. For us, it's the same too. I always try to work out in the morning. And then, uh, when we do Thanksgiving, we do it at my in-laws and they're Italian. So we have many courses. Oh, and okay. so we do like, we do, uh, one, one course. And then there's usually like an hour or so between that and the second course. And so sometimes we'll go for a walk and kind of oh, just, love that. yeah. And then break it, we break it up. And then, so you have like the second course, which is like a big course. And then after that, maybe we'll go for another little bit of a walk and then we have dessert and, you know, all of that stuff. So, um, I actually really like that. It breaks it up. Yeah. It's nice. And then the first course is not as big cause it's kind of like salads and everything uh -huh. like that. And then the second course is much bigger. And then we bring out, you know, the, all the treats and stuff after huh. that but it breaks everything up nicely. We start eating around like two and then usually we're done by like six. And That's awesome. yeah. So I try to, I try to focus my day. Like I know that that's going to happen, but I try and I have breakfast in the morning when I get up, I work out and my breakfast, usually I try to stick to more protein and a little bit of fat yep. and try to keep most of the carbs for dessert. Oh, for <laughs> sure. Yep. So protein lead is usually what I try to do as well. Mm -hmm. Just high protein throughout the day so that I have a little bit of more uh, carbs and, and fat for dinner. Yep. Um, one thing that we have noticed is that our clients that tend to follow their same routine um, have better success mm -hmm. as opposed to those to just throw it out the window. They tend to backtrack on their progress and then they kind of self-sabotage and they get into this downward downward spiral. So we're trying to keep things positive mm -hmm. and having a plan going into your um, holiday. It, 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 we're not looking for perfection. We just yeah. want to have some kind of a plan, some kind of structure so that we feel like we've made progress yeah. um, from the year before yep. or years past. So the second tip we have for you is to, if you're invited to a party, offer to bring a healthy dish uh, along with you. Um, I actually went to a party this weekend and had a couple things that I want to share with you guys. It was so good. So one of the things um, somebody brought was a, um, a like a pumpkin dip with apples around yeah. it. And it was like made with Greek yogurt and like a light whipped cream. Mm -hmm. And then it had pumpkin puree and all these spices and then green apples, which are really Ooh. flavorful, really yeah. tart and flavorful. And that was my go-to. Like it was so good. It wasn't tempting to go to, there was pumpkin cake, like sheet cake yeah. with, with frosting. And I had like a little square of that, but the other, the apples that yeah. had so much more flavor that that's what I went to. It was really, really good. So that's a fun, like fall thing to bring. Um, my go-to is always, I make homemade um, salsa chips mm -hmm. and salsa is like a so good something that I always offer to bring because I feel like if you put salsa on things like mm -hmm. anything it doesn't matter oh, yeah. what you're eating yeah you know, put salsa on it and you're good to go <laughs> yes pretty much um I will also offer to make um salads mm -hmm. uh, just because you never know like if there's going to be any vegetables there obviously mm -hmm. a, a veggie tray is easy oh um, yeah to come by sometimes when I bring a veggie tray I bring cottage cheese in the dip so oh, I do yeah. cottage cheese instead of like a ranch dip and I just um sprinkle ranch seasoning in the cottage cheese and use that as a dip because then you get that extra protein um for us, um, my in-laws, they always do, and I always say it wrong and make fun of me because <laughs> I'm not, a, I'm not Italian. Uh, I always say they bring a anti-pasto salad or we always have that. That's usually our first, uh, mm -hmm. The, the first thing that we eat. And so that's a great thing to bring as well, or even like things to put together, like a charcuterie board. Uh -huh. Cause then you have the proteins and the cheese and, mm -hmm. you know, you can pick like a nutcracker or something like that, but that way you're getting some proteins in with all that. And then you have, you know, some veggies and stuff to go with it too. And it's yeah. a good, it's a good way to open up the courses as well. Yeah. 
Um, I, um, I, a lot of times will also bring, be the one that offers to bring uh, the dessert or the mm -hmm. treat because then I have control over what's being served and I have a plan going into it, like how much of it I'm going to have because I kind of know. And it's not always a really healthy treat. Yeah. Sometimes it is. But sometimes it's just your typical like cookies or brownies or whatever, mm -hmm. but at least I know what it is and I have a plan going into it yeah. and I never bring it home with me. <laughs> yeah. It stays with the family that I'm visiting because otherwise I'll eat it all. So we have a couple recipes. And again, like I said, we're going to send all these out in an email for you, mm -hmm. but we wanted to talk about some things that we've made in the past, as well as some that we haven't tried yet, but we want to give you more options, especially for um, Thanksgiving. I know we're talking a lot about Thanksgiving because I feel like Halloween. Well, you know what? Let's actually talk about Halloween for a second. Yeah. And what what I kind of do is um, I and you might do it a little bit different, mm -hmm. but I always will serve. Um, we always make a high protein chili. So we mm, have chili yeah. on Halloween always. And I do a really high, I have like a ground turkey. If you guys want the recipe, let me know. Um, a ground turkey chili that's really high in protein. So I always have a big bowl of that before we go out trick-or-treating. Um, my temptations are a lot lower. It, and then I just kind of don't really look through the kids' bags. <laughs> yeah. At the end of the night. So like I don't go out trick-or-treating and like have candy as I'm yeah. going with them. But at the end of the night, I'll like mm -hmm. look through it. I'll pick one out of each of their bags. Mm -hmm. And so I am having candy, but it's not like an over amount. Um, and then out of sight, out of mind for me, like mm -hmm. my kids keep their candy in their rooms. If I have leftover Halloween candy, I t send it to work with Chris, whatever, just get it out of my house. Mm -hmm. Um, and that's, what's worked for me in the past. Yeah. We, um, candy really isn't my downfall. Uh, I can so kind of, yeah, I can take it, it or leave it for me, but not as much. Yeah. Me. Same. Um, so yeah, Ben, we go trick or treating and, um, Ben usually fills up his thing and we actually still have like half of his thing from last year with candy. <laughs> yeah. I put it on the top shelf and like, he remembers about it for like a month and then we all kind of just forget about it. And then randomly it'll get picked at if someone comes over and then yeah. they see it. Um, but yeah, it's not, candy isn't really, um, it's not too big for us. Yeah. I'm more of a goods, like a oh, cookies. Oh, me and... too, for sure. <laughs> um, however, the pumpkin Reese's peanut butter cups, those are so I good. do have a weakness for those. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's go back to Thanksgiving. So we're going to share this uh, recipe with you. It's a green bean casserole. Um, it is going to be on the healthier side because it doesn't have the cream that like a lot of green bean casseroles have. It has a little bit of uh, low fat milk and some um, olive oil, but it's mostly just like green beans and onions mm -hmm. and um, some seasonings. And then it has um, breadcrumbs that you toast on the top. So this is actually something that I'm planning on making. My family doesn't do green bean casserole generally, mm -hmm. uh, but this one actually looks really good because it looks like it's mostly vegetables. Yeah. So I'm gonna try this one out. Um, this one I've made, um, I got this off of the feeding the Frasers website. Um, I've made this one actually a couple weeks ago and it is really good. It's, uh, so it calls for the Sir Kensington's, uh, pepperoncini, uh, Italian dressing. I, I couldn't find it anywhere. So I just took the Brianna's Italian dressing and I mixed some in with it and I feel like it tasted just as good. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's great. It tastes really good. Roasted um, gives the veggies a lot of flavor. This is something that, um, I would definitely bring over a great side. So okay. yeah. Awesome. So sweet potato casserole is my assigned thing every Thanksgiving. That is what I make. And the reason is because years ago, I used to make a really good, very unhealthy version of a sweet potato casserole. Um, and I still actually will make that for, but I'll, but I do too. I'll do this one too. So I found this one like two or three years ago. Um, and it is so good. So instead of having like marshmallow top, it has this crunchy topping that is that really so amazing. good. And so it's got some things in it that make it a little bit healthier. It's got maple syrup instead of brown sugar in it. It has unsweetened almond milk in it. Um, oops, sorry guys. 
Um, it has, uh, the topping is um, just flour and rolled oats. And then you can do, it does have a little bit of brown sugar, but you also can do coconut sugar, um, which caramelizes like brown sugar does. So I might try that out this year. And then it just has um, a little bit of melted butter in it. So it's a little bit healthier version and it tastes so, so good. So I, this is a garlic um, mashed cauliflower. I'm not a huge fan of mashed, mashed cauliflower. Mm -hmm. Do you, have you tried it? I like it. My stepfather-in-law makes a amazing mashed cauliflower. He really? did it last year. And then I don't know why, but we had it with gravy for something oh. for dinner randomly the other uh, couple weeks ago. And it was really good. And mm. I'll have to get the recipe from yeah. him, but it was amazing. It had really good flavor. And then he had... What did he cook? I, it must have been like a roast or something. And so he used the juices from that mm -hmm. and he cooked them in a pot with a little bit of wine and made like a gravy. Ooh. And you put it was really that good. Really good. Yeah. So I feel like if you um making it at home, you can make a better version of it than if you were to get like Trader Joe's sells kind of an all right frozen version of it, but making it at home with the ingredients, like the heavy whipping cream and stuff like mm -hmm. that, it tastes really good. Okay. Yeah. I'll have to try it. Cause I've only made it once and I didn't like it. So this recipe has, um, bone broth in it. So that's going to help increase the protein, the protein content. Yep. Um, it has garlic, heavy whipping cream, just mm -hmm. a little bit, two ounces, a half a tablespoon of butter. Yep. Um, so it's really on the lighter side. It yeah. sounds like it's going to be like a creamier, lighter version. Yep. So that's definitely something I will try. Um, maybe I'll try it beforehand before I actually yeah. serve it, but um, even maybe roasting the garlic too, if you can roast the garlic oh, ahead of time idea. and then mix it in with all that, I bet it would taste amazing. Yeah, that's a good idea. So this one is actually something that somebody brought to the party I went to this that last weekend amazing. and it was so good. So this is a cinnamon roasted butternut squash dish and it's pretty simple. It's butternut squash, olive oil, cinnamon, salt, and a dash of um, cayenne pepper. And it seriously was very, very tasty it and so a good. little bit went a long way because it has so much flavor. Yeah. Um, I'm not a huge stuffing fan. I don't really eat stuffing, <laughs> but if you are, and you like to make it from scratch, here's, we're going to share this stuffing recipe with you. Um, my sister is in charge of stuffing and she does stovetop. So, <laughs> and I don't care because I don't like it. Right. Yeah. But my mother-in-law makes a real, apparently it's yeah. a really good stuffing because mm. she makes it from yeah. scratch, but I don't yeah. eat it. I don't eat stuffing either. Like um, it. yeah. Okay. Uh, this one is also from Feeding the Frasers. This is a sweet coated smoked turkey recipe. Uh, I did this last year. I smoked the whole turkey last year and I was so excited about it. I think I probably told everybody at the gym that I was doing it because <laughs> I was really excited. Um, and then the uh, two years prior, I smoked like turkey breast just to yeah. kind of try it out. And both times it was amazing. Um, the brine is awesome. It, um, I think it's just like brown sugar, salt, water, bay leaves, and pepper corn. Um, you brine it for 24 hours. And then, um, the seasoning, uh, once again is, I'm pretty sure it was like brown sugar, pepper. Um, um, I should have printed Put the recipe well, out, we'll but yeah we'll, we'll, add, we'll it. add it to the email um and then i smoked it you smoke it for a couple hours and it was so juicy and so yummy i'm not a turkey fan i don't really like oh, i don't really like turkey either um it's kind of dry sometimes yeah. and um so i've never really been a big fan of it but this was amazing Ooh, i loved it i might have to do that this yeah year. it was so good i need a smoker yeah you do <laughs> <laughs> i'm like literally trying to find yeah. someone that's not using their smoker yeah. that i can borrow yeah for oh. thanksgiving it's amazing <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna go on to tip number three. Don't skip meals to have to save up for a feast. Um, what this does is it become you become overly hungry and you're unable to make healthy choices when you're hungry. Um, but not only does it do that, but it it makes it so that you can't listen to your um, you you tend to ignore your hunger cues as well as your mm -hmm. full cues. And so you're not really listening to your body. So we've kind of talked about this a little bit, but 
we both will eat high protein throughout mm-hmm. the day um, to help us not feel too too hungry going into mealtime. Mm-hmm. Um, another thing that I do is I make sure I'm drinking the same amount of water as I would be on a normal day. Yep. And I will give myself a water bowl by like that afternoon. So I'm trying to drink at least half the water that I have. For me, I try and drink hundred ounces. Mm-hmm. So by, by noon, I'm trying to get 50 ounces in, which if I exercise in the morning, that's no problem. Oh like, yeah. That's not hard totally. at all. Um, and that's another reason I like to exercise in the morning is because, um, I increase my water intake. Mm-hmm. Um, same thing, drink a protein shake before your meal. And then another thing you can try doing is, so when you have your plate, um, I mean, you can kind of do the plate method, mm-hmm. but what, what I do is I will just get smaller serving sizes of all the things I want. So my plate is still very full, but most of the time we're not eating all the food that's on our plate. Yeah. So if you just get smaller servings of each of those, then you can taste them and then eat the things that really taste good to you and kind of skip the rest. But then guys, the food's not going anywhere. Yeah. There's always leftovers. Always. So wait 30 minutes and drink more water. Mm-hmm. And then if you decide you want more food, then go get more food. Yeah. It's there. Yeah. Like for us, we, our family loves leftovers on mm-hmm. Thanksgiving. Yep. So we make extra rolls, extra turkey, extra mm-hmm. raspberry salad, jello salad, like extra of everything because we want to eat it like for a couple days. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so I know it's not going anywhere. So yeah. why do I have to eat it all at once? Mm-mm. So just give yourself a break, take some time, go on a walk. Yep. Um like I know that's hard when we're really, really full, but it will help you feel better. Yeah, it definitely helps with digestion. And you know what? Uh, coffee helps too. Really? Yeah, coffee helps kind of digest everything. So usually when we do dessert, we always do just black coffee and that kind of just helps move everything huh. around. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Tip number four, if you have a holiday treat, enjoy it, yep. and move on. <laughs> The key here is to not beat yourself up for something. You are mm-hmm. not going to undo every, all the hard work we've done in the month in one meal and yeah. in one night. So don't beat yourself up for indulging that night. It just have a plan. So for me, what I do, because we also really like to have uh, a lot of pie options, like yeah. probably more than most people. And we, um, make, we make all our pies from scratch. We mm-hmm. don't buy store. We're kind of snobby that way. Like we, we make them all from scratch and they're really good. And the only time we ever have pie is on Thanksgiving. Yeah. So what I do is I will get like, most of the time I just want to taste it mm-hmm. except for pecan pie. That's my favorite. I'm doing a full slice. Don't mm-hmm. care what you say, Yeah. but all the other ones, I'll just do small slivers um, because I just want to taste it all, yeah. you know, and again, it's not going anywhere. No. Like it'll still be there. If you guys decide to have more later, Yep, that's fine, but don't overindulge, just have a plan, mm-hmm. enjoy it. And then don't beat yourself up for it. Yep. Move on. Yeah. It's fine. I always do a little piece of every single thing Yep, and it's fine. Yeah. It means we squat heavy the next day. <laughs> <laughs> so it's fine. Yes. Uh, The next thing is um, alcohol consumption. Um, You know, uh, for us, we have, we go over there and we start with mimosas and then we have our first course and that's usually with wine, sometimes beer, whatever. And then the second course is always with more wine. And then with dessert, we have um, cordials. And so that could be anywhere from a sweeter port to sweeter hard liquor. So there's throughout the day for us, we enjoy a lot of alcohol. And so having, making better choices with your alcohol and also mixing water in with that, you know, you have a glass of wine, make sure you have a glass of water beside that glass of wine. Um, and then, you know, if you have to choose between the red and the white and you like either one, maybe go towards the red, you'll have less amounts of sugar in the red than you would the white. Yep. Um, cocktails, if you're doing cocktails, uh, mixing, you know, a hard alcohol with, you know, like a a diet soda or, um, a tonic or a club soda and not adding a lot of extra sugars and everything that will keep the calories down. 
and it'll also keep the hangover away. <laughs> Sugar equals hangover. <laughs> so just make sure you guys have a plan going mm-hmm. into the, the holiday season with, especially with alcohol and making sure you're still getting your water intake, um, making sure that you're eating at the same time as, as drinking. So you're not um, o- over absorbing the alcohol mm-hmm. um, and just having like the way you described it, like you're pacing it throughout the day. Yep. It's not overindulged at one time. Yes. And so just knowing kind of what your plan is as you go. Okay. So we're going to review just the four tips that we talked about. And then it looks like we've got some questions or maybe some comments in the chat. So we'll open it up. We'll talk a little bit about, about um, some of the things that you guys are doing currently. And then if anybody wants to unmute themselves and kind of give us uh, some more tips, let us know. So real quick, the first tip we talked about is to eat close to your usual time to to try and stay on a schedule. Um, Number two is if you're invited to a a party, offer to bring a healthy side dish. And number three, don't skip meals to save up for the feast. Number four, if you have a holiday treat, enjoy it and move on. So hopefully you guys learned a few things that you didn't already know. I'm gonna open up this chat. So we've got Dusty. She says, I like to add a single, small, medium-sized russet in with my head of cauliflower Ooh. because it gives you a better texture, but it's still lower in carbs. That's a great- I never would have thought of that. I like Really that. great idea. I like that a lot. Um, Phil says, stuffing is amazing. <laughs> right. You must have a really good recipe, Phil. Yeah, Kimberly makes really great stuffing from scratch. It's my, like I could skip the gravy and like all kinds of other stuff, but the stuffing is it's just, i mean it's bread and butter how could you not love that it's a, <laughs> it's a solid point that's true <laughs> it's the texture for yeah me. i'm not yeah <laughs> um okay claudia said that smoked turkey looks amazing i know i literally am trying that. it's that so good so good my stepfather-in-law couldn't so we smoked the turkey and then he also made another turkey um, so we had two turkeys and there was only like maybe eight of us, six of us. Wow. So there wasn't a lot of us and probably four of us ate turkey. Like, I mean, we weren't cooking for that many people and he still cooked one when we smoked one. It was really kind of funny and he couldn't stop talking about it. Really? He's like, this is amazing. This is way better than mine. He's like, this is amazing. And then he went out and bought a smoker. Really? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Phil just told me I need to go buy a smoker. Yeah. Phil, you need to talk to Chris. Yeah. Not me. Cause I'm there. I'm ready. No, I, I was saying I need to run out and buy a smoker. You need we to don't have one. I yeah. even have a hookup because my, my, oh, yeah. Your my well, and my dad and my other brother, they, they own a barbecue shop. Oh yeah. Oh. yeah so maybe I'll have one. them bring me one. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. They're, Thanksgiving they're gift. <laughs> Thanksgiving gift. Yeah. Right? Um, Kay, does anybody want to unmute themselves and tell us something that works for them over the holidays or any um, tips they want to share? Dusty, I know you've got something. I know. You had a pretty <laughs> solid one. <laughs> um, I haven't made it yet, but I have a recipe on Pinterest that adds uh, sausage into the stuffing, and I wanted to try it with chicken sausage. Mm. So then at least it's like got protein in it. <laughs> yeah. That's a good idea. That sounds good. Yeah. I do want to look for some healthier recipes for Thanksgiving though, but I really, I think that that's actually one of my easier holidays to pace myself on Mm -hmm. just because like you said, like there's so much food that you can always go back. So I don't really feel pressured to eat everything right away. (laughs) Yep. But I think Megan has those conversations with me all the time about like (laughs) the tips for not, not going crazy. (laughs) We're not in a famine. Yeah. (laughs) Um, so let's, I know we talked a lot about Thanksgiving, but let's talk about Christmas for a minute. How is Christmas different for you guys than Thanksgiving? What are the different temptations at Christmas time? There are so many more get togethers involving Christmas. It's sure. not just Christmas day. It's like every weekend leading up to Christmas. Yep. Yeah, that's true. Yep. Yeah. So I would, this is what my piece of advice would be, would be to have, um, so one thing I tell my nutrition clients all the time is progress, not perfection. Mm -hmm. So just having a plan going into like, let's say, take it a week at a time, you know, like on average, you're going to end up having some kind of event once a week in the month, right? So if you're having one day a week, that's not perfect, Mm -hmm. you're still hitting 80%. Yep through the month, right? 
And that's as nutrition coaches, that's what we're looking for. We're looking for 80% consistency. Mm -hmm. We're not looking for hundred percent. No. So if you look at it that way, there's no need to feel guilt or fear behind that month. Mm -hmm. You just have a plan going into it. Know what's worth it. What's not yep. like people drop by treats like crazy in this neighborhood. And honestly, most of them aren't worth it. Mm -hmm. If it's worth it, I'm eating it. Oh yeah. But if it's not, I don't care. And like, it's not, it's not as tempting to me because like, I know what I really like mm -hmm. and it can sit on the counter and I'll be okay. If it's not something I don't really like. So hopefully that helps. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Any other, um, any other things anybody struggles with or have fear behind coming into this holiday season? Tears, I was just going to say kind of what you were talking about, like people dropping stuff off. We do that in our cul-de-sac, like everybody like, you know, basically does like a cookie exchange kind of thing. And I used to take all that stuff to the office and get rid of it. But yeah. now I work from now home. You work at home. So, <laughs> so, yeah, I have to come up with a new plan. Yeah, <laughs> I'll send him to the gym. Mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I tried to get Kimberly to take him to work. It's not worked out very well. You know, she's like, no, I'll get in another, trouble. Another option is um, <laughs> pour water on it. Just put yeah. it, just it pour water on it. It's right. um, no, I was going to say, <laughs> put it in the freezer. If it's something mm -hmm. that like you're like, ooh, I know I'm going to really like this. Have mm -hmm. some stick the rest in the freezer for yep. like Sunday night or something, you know, that's the thing is like a lot of it's, it's not that good. I need to remember <laughs> what you said. Like, yeah. I don't really, well, I don't even answer. really like that. It's just sitting there and I walk by it and grab it. So I, I should, I should really be okay with just quite frankly, throwing it away. If I'm not, if it's not worth the, the calories I'm I should just throw it away is really what it comes down to yeah if you throw my right it. away I'm gonna be mad <laughs> so it is worth it and I put a lot of work for it <laughs> if you want to throw it away you can give it to me yeah <laughs> okay. my, my sisters and I get together every year and do a sister's baking day and the treats are insane I'm so excited like, for it we know how to do treats yeah in my <laughs> they're so good <laughs> um okay anyone else have Anything they want to share or questions? Okay. Well, thank you guys for taking time to join us tonight. And obviously, if you guys ever need help, we're here for you. We love this talk. We could talk all night about oh, yeah. it. And so it's always easier when you have a, a group mm -hmm. and you have like that support system. So let us know how we can be that support system to you. And I hope you guys all have an awesome night. Thank you. Bye.